my craft and decker friends, welcome back! This is Shell and let me tell you that today we have another kawaii adventure! We're gonna show you how to make some mini kawaii accessories for your Barbie dolls! The best part is that they're gonna be super easy to make! So stay glued to your screens because this video is about to get extra cute! For our first kawaii accessory, we're gonna need some aluminum foil, paper sheets, fabric in two different colors, and a little bit of white glue. Let's make an ultra cute baseball cap for Barbie! First, we need to cover her hair with some plastic wrap, just like these friends. Then, we're gonna grab some of the aluminum foil and we're gonna start making the shape of our cap. Make sure you give it a smooth round texture. And we're gonna apply a thin coat of white glue all over the cap area, just the top of our Barbie's head and some of the sides. Next, we're gonna stick on this piece of lilac fabric. Make sure that you stretch out the fabric so our cap has a nice smooth texture. Here we have one of our paper sheets. We're gonna apply a thin coat of white glue just on one of the sides. And we're gonna attach a small piece of pink fabric. Look guys, here we have the top part of our cap. And now that the glue is completely dry, we can remove it very carefully from Barbie's head and trim off the excess of fabric like so. To make the bill of our awesome baseball cap, we need to trace this part of the pink fabric and then draw the rest of it like so. Then, we need to cut it up with our scissors. Remember to ask for the help of a grown-up whenever you use sharp tools, friends. Look, we've traced some flaps on the back part of the bill, so let's cut them out really carefully with our scissors. Now, we just need to apply a tiny bit of clear glue on the flaps. And we're gonna stick it onto the top part of the hat, hiding the flaps on the inside. How neat! Press down with your fingers to make sure that it sticks on well. This baseball cap is beginning to look pretty sweet. Now, let's add the super sparkly touch. We just need to spread a tiny bit of clear glue all over our cap and wait till it dries completely. And this couldn't be a kawaii cap without a little cute face. So let's paint its size and a cute smile with a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Our kawaii baseball cap is almost ready. We just need to paint two lovely cheeks with a little bit of pink. It looks simply adorable. For our next kawaii accessory, we're gonna need a small plastic box like this one. A thin wooden stick. Some bendy straws acrylic paints, some of this cute pink ribbon, and plastic beads in different colors. Let's get started with our second accessory, an incredible suitcase for Barbie. So, what we need to do first is paint the plastic box with a little bit of sky blue acrylic paint. Make sure you spread out the paint evenly without leaving any blank spots. Here we have two bendy straws, so what we're gonna do is just cut out the bendy parts with our scissors. Then, let's make a small cut like this one. We need to stick one of the ends of the straw into the other one. This is gonna be the handle for Barbie's suitcase. Next, we need to cut in half our wooden stick. These are gonna be part of the long handle because her suitcase is gonna have wheels. Now, we need to stick them on the straws. Then, you can fix them in place with a tiny bit of clear glue. Then let's give it some color. This bubblegum pink is gonna look lovely. And for the inner part of the suitcase, we will use some of the bubblegum pink. Barbie is gonna be ready to travel with this suitcase. It's time to stick on the handle of the suitcase. Just a couple of tiny drops of clear glue will do. Perfect, guys! Then, we need to attach the wheels so Barbie can drag the suitcase around the airport. These cute beads will be perfect! And, to make it look super realistic, we're gonna touch a small piece of ribbon with some velcro on the tip, so Barbie can fasten the suitcase and keep everything in place. And, with a little bit of clear glue, we're gonna give this suitcase a super sparkly finish. It's almost ready, guys. Let's paint a cute face on our amazing suitcase with an ultra-thin brush and a little bit of jet black acrylic paint. Time for kawaii idea number three. We're gonna need red and green glitter foam, some green cord, acrylic paints, and some green plastic beads. Let's get started with this juicy accessory. First, we're gonna draw a semicircle on the back part of the red glitter foam, like this. 
Then you can fold the foam like this, so you can cut the two pieces we're gonna need at the same time. Pretty handy trick, huh? And with an ultra thin brush and some Arctic white acrylic paint, we're gonna paint a thin trim like so. Next, we gotta cut out a thick strip like this one from the green glitter foam. Try to go as straight as possible. And we're gonna apply some clear glue along the edge of the semicircle and attach it to the green strip. If you haven't guessed it yet, this is gonna be a sweet watermelon purse. Look, it's gorgeous! But there's still more details to add. First, we need to punch two holes on the sides so we can add a strap. And let's slip through some of the green cord and tie a big knot on one of the ends so the strap won't come out. Then we're gonna make our strap look amazing by slipping down some green beads. Wow, how neat! Time to add the kawaii touch. With an ultra thin brush and some black paint, we're gonna paint its cute little face. And with some bubblegum pink acrylic paint, we're gonna give our watermelon purse some cute cheeks. Then, we'll add some tiny seeds all over the red part for the final touch. This is the cutest purse ever! For our next cute accessory, we're gonna need a small plastic container like this one. Some plastic beads. Acrylic paints. Some wire. And a metallic cap. Let's get started! First, we need to attach a small bead to the lid of our container to make a tiny handle. Then, at the bottom part, we're gonna touch four more beads that are gonna be the legs of this cute appliance. And we're also gonna touch two more beads for the handles of the sides. And let's paint it white! In case you haven't figured it out, this is gonna be an ultra neat steamer pot! And for the small container of our steamer, we're gonna use the metal cap. Just poke two tiny holes on each of the sides like so. Now, let's slip a small piece of wire through the holes and bend it to make a tiny handle for the container. It's time to give this kawaii steamer a sparkly finish. Let's spread some of the glitter glue all over it, including the lid, friends. Then, we're gonna grab an ultra thin brush and we're gonna give some color to all the cool details we did with the plastic beads. And here we have a cute contour panel that we printed out from the internet. We're gonna attach it to the front part of our cute steamer. Time to add the kawaii touch, guys! We're gonna paint two cute little eyes with a teeny tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Look, our kawaii steamer is ready! Now Barbie can cook some delicious white rice or maybe some veggies! Yummy! It's time to make a super kawaii piece of furniture. For this, we're gonna need sponges. Furry fabric. Oh, so fluffy! Acrylic paints. Some wire. And finally, some big wooden beads. Let's get started! First, we need to remove the rough part of the sponges with a cutter. Be super careful! And here we have our two sponges and an extra piece we've cut from another sponge. We're gonna arrange them in this way and fix them in place to make a neat couch. Then, let's line it with our super fluffy fabric. Just wrap it like this, fix it in place with some glue and trim off the excess of fabric. Next, we're gonna touch this piece of tiny furry fabric to the corner of our couch. Wait till you see it, guys! It's gonna be lovely! In case you were wondering, this is gonna be a cute kitty couch! So let's make a tail by lining this small piece of wire, just like this. And for the ears, we cut out and glued this small piece of fabric. So what we're gonna do is stuff them and close the gap with some clear glue. Time to assemble our sweet kitty couch. You just need to fix everything in place. The tail to the back, the wooden beads for the legs, and then the cute little ears. Now, let's add the kawaii touch. With an ultra thin brush, we're gonna paint two cute eyes and a snout. Our kitty couch is almost ready. We just need to paint a pair of cute cheeks with some pink. How lovely! 
That was it for today's adventure, guys! Let's take a look at all our cute accessories! First, we have the lovely baseball cap, then the juicy watermelon purse, next to the steamer pot, then an awesome suitcase with wheels, and my favorite, the kitty couch! It's simply adorable, guys! If you love these crafts as much as we did, give us a like and let us know in the comments below! Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic videos! We love you so much! Bye-bye!